Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm the human behind Tanya Oasis. My name is Saren and today I have for you my top five favourite houseplants. So some of you may have realised it's been two weeks since my last upload and I'll go into detail as to why that is later on in the video but for now let's start looking at my plants. So I've chosen a few behind me. We have a lovely selection of green plants here, um, some philodendron, some begonia and one hoya. Uh, some of you may realise that it's a hoya. She said she doesn't like Hoya. Well, this one has been growing really well for me. I mentioned that when I said that I don't really like Hoya, but this guy is doing really well. I've actually had to cut off one of his tendrils, which I felt really bad about, but he was living in my um, propagation box and well, we'll get into that in a bit. So we'll start from the front and work towards the back. So number one on my list is my Philodendron Silver Sword. Now, when I got this guy, it had one, two, three, four leaves, and it didn't give me anything for a long, long time. For a few months, it just gave me absolutely nothing. But since going into my propagation box, it's given me one, two, three, four. Four new leaves, and this one is gonna be unfurling pretty soon, I think. And we have a lot of aerial roots. Now, this guy I'm going to keep in my propagation box for as long as I can because I want to get a lot, a lot of new leaves from this guy. I love it because of its shininess. It's really a beautiful plant. I mean, look at that. How does a plant like this exist? We've got a lot of aerial roots in this guy because of the high humidity of my propagation box and I just think it's really interesting. And it's so nice to see this guy grow from what it was. It was so, so small. So, this is number one of my top five favorite plants. I find philodendron super easy to look after. This guy wasn't happy until it was in my propagation box, but now that I know what it likes, I'm uh, more than happy to give it exactly that. So, number one. Let's get both philodendron out of the way. Number two is this beautiful guy, which actually has a dying leaf. I think I need to give this guy a really good water. This is my Philodendron Mykins. I actually have a lot of cuttings from this guy. When I first bought it, it was on a trellis. If I took it down, I much prefer having um, a hanging plant than a, than a climbing plant, and it seems to be enjoying it. The leaves are getting a little bit smaller, but to be honest, I don't mind that as much. I just love the way it looks trailing, those leaves. Wow. It's so velvety, so easy to look after, so, so pretty too. I love how the new leaves come out a slightly red colour. And it's got some markings on it, but I can't see any pests, so I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, so far, lots and lots and lots of new growth on my micans. If I was going to tell you to get any philodendron, I would say to get either one of these or a philodendron brazil brazil is super easy to look after but this one has a lot more pizzazz um and it just really stands out in any room that you put it in i love it i love you so much you're so wonderful mm -hmm. you are so beautiful to me so that is number two, my philodendron micans. I have a really itchy back today. <sighs> it's super warm in this room, so hence why I'm wearing the dress. Also, my bump is getting quite large now. So if I'm being a bit awkward, that's why. It's hard to move. Number three is my, excuse the mess of these guys. This was also in my propagation box. Um, so the pots are a bit gross, but this guy won't be going back in purely because it's getting too tall. Like I had to amputate one of its stems, which is really sad, but we have one, two, three, four, five, five good stems coming on this guy. 
so hopefully it'll continue to give me some really nice leaves but since going in my propagation box it's grown all of the stems and given me a lot of new leaves like one two three four five six and we have loads still coming in um this hoya pubicalyx is really cool i no, I said that I wasn't a big fan of Hoya. Um, I don't. I still don't think I'm a huge fan. There are some that like kind of irritate me because they just take so long to grow. Um, but even my uh, Hoya carnosa tricolor or crimson queen. I think it's crimson queen. Is that a queen or princess? Again, I just can't remember these things. Um, that one is also giving me a lot of new growth. So. I think it might just be a spring thing to be honest um so i will keep you guys updated on it if it continues to give me more leaves i might move it into here there's a good amount of light in this room i'm not sure if i want to pot it up and put it in the window if you guys hang your hires in the window let me know because then i might actually do that and give it a lot of light because i think it's enjoying having that much light you can also see the amount of aerial roots that i have going on this plant have a lot coming in it loves the humidity but if I had a bigger propagation box or you know like a terrarium to put this guy in it would live in there but what can you do I'm really sad that I have to amputate it because it was starting to rot and I don't want this plant to get rot no 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 it's too beautiful but yeah my Hoya pubicalyx an absolute babe if I do say so myself so the first of my begonia that I'm going to show you is this guy. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with this guy because some of the leaves are looking a bit gangly and a bit gross. But this is my begonia escargot. Now, this guy really struggled when I first got it but I think it's looking quite good now. I put it in my propagation box because it really enjoys the high humidity and I love how silvery these leaves are. It's a crawler so instead of growing up like cane begonia it kind of creeps along the floor. So this guy is going to go back into my propagation box so it can stay nice and humid and continue to give me lots of new leaves. Yeah we have another we have one broken one here not sure why it did that maybe I put it in a bit too roughly one time and it snapped but yeah this guy is amazing I'm a huge fan of begonia I don't have any rexes apart from this guy so I'd like to get a few more because I love how fuzzy they are underneath oh there's actually a dead fungus net on it <laughs> it killed it this guy is pretty cool. There's like a rotted stem in the pot, so maybe I have to repot it soon anyway, but yeah. My Begonia Escargot. I haven't seen many people rave about these guys, so I would like to see them actually have their time in the sun because even though they get crispy and a bit angry um, and a bit temperamental, and also <laughs> they tend to just split their leaves if they grow a bit quickly, I've noticed. Like I have another broken leaf here, but I think they're worth it. I think it's really like, what a beautiful plant, right? Look at that. And again, what is this de like deformed leaf about? <laughs> so strange. Yeah, we do have some really nice ones as well. This is an older leaf, as you can probably tell. And this is a lovely new one. It's still really rubbery and fresh. Wonderful. I'm gonna have to move this guy down here to get out my piece de resistance. this guy now a lot of you um if you've watched my videos because i've now realized that there's 93 of you i have 93 subscribers that is so exciting <laughs> um if you've seen my earlier videos you will know that i absolutely love and cherish this guy with all of my heart i'm just gonna pick up those little pockets you know those <laughs> the pockets that they get like when the actual leaf pops out you get these really cool um 
like skins that are left behind. I love to pick those off when they dry up. I'm just gonna do, do that while I talk to you. Some of the leaves are coming out a bit mangled. I'm not sure if it's because they're not humid enough, but oh my God, look at this guy. Also, there's a few tiny leaves coming in here. Oh my God, I just love it. This is my Begonia Maculata and it's, I wanna say trebled in size since I got it. It's just so happy, has never given me a single complaint. Um, it's just a happy guy. <laughs> And it gives me so many new leaves and there's just so much new growth on it every time i look there's a new leaf coming out somewhere oh this is a nice crispy one. Ooh, satisfying crispy i'll put those in there for now um but it's never given me a single complaint a lot of people find these really hard to care for because they get crispy edges but this guy isn't in a humid room at all and it's not crisped up so maybe i just got lucky because i live in the uk but honestly, oh, another crispy one. It's like pulling off a scab. <laughs> That's really gross, but you know what? I don't even care. Just put that back in there for now. Yeah, this guy is amazing. He has these amazing red leaves on the back here. And amazing spots on the front. If I could recommend any plant to you, it would be a begonia maculata. Pardon me, baby gas. I'll start that again. If I was to recommend you any plant, um, I would recommend you this guy. They look really scary. They do look really frightening because they are so unusual. They look like they do need a lot of work, but they really don't. They love to dry out. They love a lot of light. So if you put it in a room with this amount of light it'll be happy and it continued to grow all throughout winter and I just can't do any wrong with it I cannot do any wrong with this guy like this part didn't I didn't damage this leaf it came damaged but none of the other leaves have had a single problem and I just I don't deserve this plant I haven't neglected this one to be fair because it's been a favourite of mine since it came into my life. I think my partner bought me this one. Cal, you'll probably tell me if I did or didn't. Um, but yeah. I love it. It's my favourite. And honestly, I'm tempted to chop some off <laughs> pretty soon, like in the next few months, to propagate and get more because... I just love it like maybe i might even take this part out and put it in another pot so i have a baby one as well as a mother one but yeah my begonia maculata i don't actually name any of my plants so if you guys want to name this guy it can be the only plant with a name but yeah amazing i'm gonna pop this guy back down and slide him nicely into his corner um, I might leave my Hoya in here as well, like that, because we have a window right there. The others I'm going to put back in my propagation box now, but yeah, let's have a chat. So for the last two weeks, you might have noticed that I have been away. Um, I kind of took a hiatus off Instagram as well, not for any particular reason. The first week that I wasn't here, I had a lot of shifts at work. And as you can imagine, being now six months pregnant, that does take up a lot of energy. Um, so I basically rested for that whole week when I wasn't working and then last week I went up to North Wales with my family and my wonderful partner so I took the week off off Instagram and off YouTube and just enjoyed my time with them with everything that's happening in the world at the moment that's all I'm going to say I haven't seen my family since December so my mother and my father hadn't seen my bump growing and our little girl growing so it was really nice to see them and yeah that's why I took my hiatus. <laughs> um, not super interesting for you guys, um, as I didn't really get to give you any warning. I just kind of went. But yeah, I don't feel bad for it. I feel great coming back. I feel a lot more alive and ready to do some creative business. I am going to go now because I need to edit this video, put my plants away, 
and maybe watch Harry Potter. I kind of feel like watching Harry Potter, so that's probably what's going to happen. So yeah, I'm going to go put the TV on, get to editing, and I will see you next week, Thursday, 6pm. I'm going to do my best to get it out. If not, it will be out by the end of next week, um, dependent on my rotor and how crazy things go. <laughs> In about nine, ten weeks, I'll be on maternity leave, so I'll be able to focus a lot more on YouTube um, and just really preparing for this little baby to arrive. So exciting! I can't wait. It would be nice to be able to do this and create and have a little baby girl here as well. If you want to follow me on Instagram, please do. It's the same URL as it is here, Tiny Little Oasis. You can find my link. You'll find my link in the comments. Not my comments. You'll find my link in the description below. Wow, I really struggled with that one. And yes, find me there. Chat to me in the comments if you want. That would be wonderful. And if you want to subscribe because you haven't yet, please do and come and join us in the tiny little oasis. So I'm gonna go. Thursday 6pm, if not a bit later, I will see you then. I'll see you next week.